welcome back to Poppy Monroe. I'm Tanya and today I wanted to talk to you about ribbing. Um, ribbing is one of my all-time favorite products that I keep stocked in the workshop all the time. Um, it is so versatile and um, you can put it on any of your products or your projects, sorry. Um, I wanted to show you a few different options. Um, all of my ribbing now comes from Mimi Fabrics. Not all ribbing is created equally and I just absolutely love the products that um, Miriam has been stocking. Um, and she's um, also a good friend of mine and has provided some fabrics uh, for the video here today. Um, if you are not a Mimi maker, you want to be a Mimi maker um, and this video is uh, for all of you who are looking for more information. So the first one that I wanted to show you was a classic ribbing. It is flat. I'm sorry, I'm gonna hide behind the fabrics um, as, I, as I hold them up because my video will track my eyes and it won't focus any um, otherwise. So this one is flat, you'll see, and there are little Vs that are running up and down the fabric, just like a jersey or a French terry any other knit fabric. The difference is, is that this one is knit in the round. And so you'll see if I were to open it up, it comes in like a tube, okay? So when you get it, you can slice it down one side and then it opens up into double the width. Always check the listings to see um, what the width of the fabric is when you're considering yardage because they all come in different widths. Most of the ones that Miriam carries at Mimi Fabrics are either 35 centimeters wide in the tube, uh, which, which then opens up to 70 centimeters, or uh, 75 centimeters that open up into 150. So always check because there's a couple other others that um, are a little bit different. So what's really great about ribbing is that because it's knit in the, in the round, it has incredible stretch. The stretch and the recovery is fabulous. I will say that the flat ones are typically the best in terms of recovery, but they are all excellent in recovery. Um, so what do I use these for? I get asked that all the time. I'll show you some examples and it will hopefully come to life um, why this product is so valuable to having your stash or in your workshop. Um, so, I love to obviously color match. Everybody does. You want your stuff to look cute. Um, and so I was doing a picture along a railroad and I just loved this French flowers from Rebecca Rec. And uh, the only colors that I could get that were truly matched uh, really well for the look that I was going for was this French Terry and this jean jersey. So I put them together. And I did know that the French Terry didn't have that great of stretch. Um, and so I made the cuff a little bit wider than what the pattern would have called for, but oh look, like true to French terry form, <laughs> it doesn't really stretch that much, right? And so what this meant was my little girl wore this probably for the picture only, and then we probably put it in the hand-me-down box, right? I mean, it happens and the pictures were cute and I have no regrets, <laughs> but, if I had put ribbing on it, if I had put ribbing on it, let me just get my ribbing example, then it would have had longer longevity. So I'll show you, this is the ribbing, and this is the, the um, sparkle ribbing, and I will say it has the least amount of stretch, but I mean, like, come on, that compared to that. <laughs> There's just no comparison. I'm really reefing on this. This is a pretty stiff fabric. So all that to say, when I'm, this is another example. This is beautiful uh, Euro jersey. They both are. They're both wonderful, wonderful quality. But again, I wanted this to match perfectly because it's a little Christmas cutie, little scene from the Lishtoff. Also bought this at Miriam's, the Mimi Fabrics. And I wanted this perfect jersey because it came with the collection. But like, truthfully, this is all it gave me. So again, I made the cuff a little bit bigger, but it only lasted one Christmas. And then that was that, right? Where this sweater has lasted my little monkey mm, two and a half years so far. So I put the ribbing is the coral and I put it all the way around the sweater and the cuffs I turned this garment into a girl with me, OK? 
okay and it's not a grow with me pattern which I think they are fabulous but you can take any one of your patterns that you have for your kids if it's a knit pattern and turn it into a grow with me pattern just by using ribbing so I made the hood a little bit taller I made the garment about an inch and a half longer in the body and I added these tall cuffs which are a little extra tall because now you can roll it up and if I rolled up my other cuff which is almost the same pattern first of all it's hard to do now it's rolled in double and I can barely open it this cuff that is obviously doubled down it I'm not, I'm, I'm not even having to like force this open this is a game changer if you have children or if you are sewing for children or if you have a shop that is sewing for children or adults. I'll show you in the adult pattern. Okay, you can do this with leg cuffs too as well. So on any jammy or jogger, add on your matching ribbing. And my children, the first thing they grow out of are the cuffs on the, sle on the sleeves and the, the pant because their little hands can barely fit through or their little feet get stuck but it still might fit over their bums but it can't even get their feet through right not with ribbing like that's going to save you with an adult I'm just gonna put this on even though it doesn't match sorry guys but this is just a jersey it's beautiful Rebecca Ruck jersey with these beautiful butterflies on it I added the green as the the ribbing this is sized down okay because I didn't want it to like fully close so the garment is sized down and this is the ribbing so it hugs around my neckline really nice it goes over my curves nicely I added extra long cuffs because I like a little cozy factor but I can also roll them up and it's not tight it's not tight. I get really irritated when my cuffs are are tight like I can't wear the garment for long and look it still grows so here's the thing if you have a shop and you are making for either children or adults ribbing is going to either give you grow with me items for children probably or you're gonna be able to carry less skews because these cuffs you're gonna be able to create say instead of having you know 10 sizes you might make seven sizes and just overlap and stagger the sizing a little bit because these are often like the first thing to go right and anyhow I just wanted to put that out there less skews means less time of you cutting out and fussy cutting and trying to figure out which size is which and then your customers are saying oh you know I wanted the you know this size but you only had the sizes on either side of it will it fit me yes it will with ribbing it absolutely will with with um, with knit fabrics and it's perfect for gifting too if you're kind of guessing at what the the size might be ribbing is going to give you a little bit of um, grace um, on either side of it okay so maybe now uh, oh I also wanted to show you um, so my kids love alley cat rompers uh, the pattern designer is little Luke's collection if you're looking I know they're super popular this bodice this stripey bodice this is was like a Christmas romper for one of our Christmas pictures that I just dug out of like the bins I'm sorry it's a little wrinkly but this bodice is made out of ribbing so my big kid has worn this for two seasons for sure she's gonna wear it for a third and then her younger sister is gonna be able to wear it for three seasons as well so um, but what's really great see the sleeves are super stretchy I even sized down on this bodice and if any of you have made these before they are super super fitted but look like it it just it grows with the child right if you are making it out of um, ribbing you know to either do a test run or just size down one I would recommend because they are so stretchy but I put it on the cuffs too Oops, super cute eh but again like my my child would not have been able to wear this the last season because it would not have fit over her feet if it were not for ribbing okay you all get it I love ribbing so maybe I'll just show you the different types um, that I have come to love and again you can get these all at Mimi fabrics so here's the flat ribbing okay 
Um, there's another flat ribbing with a sparkle thread in it, um, which is super fun. These come in 35 centimeters wide, cut on the on one side, and then it may, opens up into 30 uh, 70 centimeters. Um, but if you'll see, this one is a neutral color, like it's not an oatmeal, it's not a gray, it's kind of like putty or somewhere in the middle, um, with a rainbow sparkle thread. I love this so much. I put it on everything. In fact, I put it on this one. This even has a, a gold uh, stripe to it, but I don't mind mix mixing my metallics and actually it looks quite cute on this. Oh, another thing I didn't mention about ribbing is that I even have notes. I don't know if following them. I never do. Um, it's so good for necklines, okay? This is a bomber jacket. Um, and if any of you have made this, you know that these are a pain to get perfect, especially if you're using like a jersey or something. It always puckers, doesn't lie flat. This, because the little V's are knit in the round, when it goes around a garment, each little column of V's stretches independently of the other one, as opposed to a jersey or French terry that kind of uniformly stretches all together. These are, it's kind of like an accordion where it just hugs around a neckline perfectly. You'll see my, my shirt. I really truly wanted um, the band to match the jersey perfectly. And I mean, this is a, a fantastic jersey that has a lot of stretch and it's very, very easy to work with. But you'll see like there are a few little puckers around. If I had used a jersey, it would be completely flat, like perfectly flat. Like, you know those sewists who like post their perfect little um, uh, flat lays and you're like, how did you get that so perfectly? How much did you steam press that to get it to lay flat? They probably used ribbing. That was probably their secret weapon. Okay, so the sparkles. These come in a lot of different colors and they seem to come out with new ones every season. So take a peek. I love, love, love this product. Um, and I also, I'm not sensitive to, um, to itchy fabrics at all, so I will say that, but I don't find that these are super scratchy. Although if you had um, someone in mind who was sensitive or had, you know, sensory um, considerations, then I would, maybe get a small piece to test, but um, I find that this actually lays pretty flat. This one is called a two by two ribbing. Again, 35 centimeters wide, you cut it on the fold and it becomes 70 centimeters. This is kind of, if you're a knitter, you're gonna know what I'm saying. I'm not a knitter, so I'm sorry if I'm not using proper terminology, but it's like a knit to purl to. So you'll see two rows of V's creating a ridge and then two rows of V's kind of knit backwards, so a purl, and it creates a little divot. And that's how you get the ribbed effect. But again, it's super stretchy, great recovery. I would say not as great of recovery as the, um, the flat ribbing, but it's still like, come on, like you can't beat that. Comes in several different colors. Um, and then, this is the new product, which I know everybody has kind of been eyeballing in the background because we, we sneak some peeks. Today is June 23rd, I had to look, um, and these products are listing on mimifabrics.ca on June 26th at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is the heavy ribbing. Um, it is 630 grams per square meter. It is heavy stuff. It is cozy. It is amazing. It is so smooshy and lovely. Each colorway has a different hand feel to it. Um, so if, if texture or if, if hand feel is really important to you, ask some questions before you buy. Um, but it is so stretchy and I love it. I absolutely love it. It is so beautiful. Each colorway has a different sparkle color, so definitely when you're looking at the listings, um, make sure to check out both the yarn colorway and the sparkle fabric colorway. But this is like, I, I should have checked all the proper names, but it's like a pinky color. 
Miriam always asks me, what color should I name this? Mine never get chosen. I'm terrible with colors. But anyhow, uh, there's this pink colorway. There's this neutral again with the rainbow sparkle, which is um, similar to this one, right, that we already showed you. Um, and it, holy smokes, it's just, it's just fabulous. And it's heavy. Um, I am making a Summit Peak hoodie, which I will share with you all tomorrow um, in the So Let's Talk hosted by Mimi Fabrics and Poppy Monroe Facebook group um, and on Instagram as well. Um, but I am doing a Summit Peak hoodie. I have sized down my hoodie and because this is so stretchy, um, I put the, the ribbing here and I also put the ribbing up through the middle of the sleeve and that will give it some extra stretch. If you look at, is anybody else um, a Lululemon scuba hoodie fan? If you look at their fabric, it's like a French terry that they use, but it is not stretchy. It's not stretchy at all. And it's tight, right? It's very tight fitting. The part that hugs your body is ribbing. They use ribbing to expand around and to give that snug fit, that snug fitted fit, um, which, you know, I, I, I like more fitted clothing than flowy clothing or like big oversized hoodies. So I'm excited to show you um, my hoodie tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> this is so nice. This is a gray colorway. It's like a middle of the road gray colorway with um, gold. And remember how I said the hand feel is different on all of them? This one is just pools, but it's still very, very heavy. So, I mean, this is only 30, I'm sorry, 70 centimeters across. So you'd have to watch your yardage and the sizing, like to see if you could fit it on one piece. But this would make a beautiful sweater, like a beautiful sweater. It is so nice. Oh, this one's nice too. This is like a light gray with silver and it's not quite as soft as the last one, but it's still very, very soft. This one is stuck on my cover stitch machine. <laughs> blooper, blooper reel. Um, and it is almost as soft as that first gray. And it is stunning. It is gray with silver. You know, Tossie's on ground. This one's like a coral color and it has a copper glitter thread. There's like a light pink with a gold. So nice. This is light blue with gold and ooh, light blue with <laughs> light blue with blue and this is interesting it is uh almost the same color as the last one but it uh it's stiffer than the last one this would be so nice on um like cuffs of of uh leggings or um yeah cu cuffs of any kind um so good. I could totally see these as little toques, like the the chic placard um, um, toque pattern would be so nice. Can you imagine it just like sewn up with a little pom pom? <laughs> so cute. Like a teal color, dark teal. There's a mint with gold, and uh, this is the color that I'm using on my um, my hoodie. It's like a sage color, and it has silver glitter but again like isn't it nice so this is gonna be um awesome as like i can make a little like toque like to match to go around and the last one that i have there's more colors on the website by the way this is the mustard and mustard goes on all things come fall winter spring so i am so excited i'm so excited to get sewing with these they're absolutely stunning I've been waiting. Miriam did maybe let a little sneak peek with me um, back when she was in Germany um, uh, around that time um, that she had found a distributor that sells this and I'm so excited. I'm so excited um, for them to come and uh, and to get to sewing. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any other questions about how to use ribbing um, or anything specific to the products. Um, oh, I also didn't notice this is also um, 
standard 100 by Ukotec certified as well as are most of the other fabrics that Miriam carries at Mimi Fabrics, which is really important to me in terms of understanding what ethical practices and chemicals that are used um, in the processing of the, the materials um, it's it's really important in our house so um, definitely read up and ask any questions that you have I hope this was helpful and I will talk to you all soon